Hello YouTube. Today we've got a unboxing of the i10 TWS headphones. So these are in the AirPod style, Apple AirPod style earphones uh, and they're Bluetooth 4.0. So I recently purchased these off eBay and the reason for choosing these were I really wanted a uh, economic uh, pair of wireless headphones. I didn't really want over the head earphones and I didn't want the sport type ones and also I didn't want to pay the £140 that you get for the Apple AirPods but I wanted something with a reasonable quality. Looking at the box it's of a decent quality obviously not to the level of Apple and they've kind of followed some of the design cues that you get with Apple with the uh, showing the the AirPods on the on the on the front. On the back uh, the first thing that you'll notice is that it's got the uh, four LED indicators and the charging capsule and if you look close enough you'll notice that it also has the USB-C 3 connector. Um, if you open up what do you get in the box then? A bit difficult with one hand but yeah got it. The first thing you notice is you've got the manual then you've got the charging capsule which contains the AirPods so if I take that out it comes in a plastic wrap there and if you take out that that container uh, and then open up the bottom half you'll notice that there you also have a USB to USB-C charging cable you'll notice the package is a little bit flimsy so if I put that to one side and focus on the actual capsule uh, take off the plastic wrap uh, and first feel in the hand is it's pretty good the quality actually feels quite really good solid um, the difference as you can see straight away is that there's an ellipse on the front <coughs> to open up the, uh, the, 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 the flap uh, on the back you can see there's a kind of stainless steel hinge which is of good quality similar to what you've got in the Apple AirPods you'll notice that it doesn't have the button that it has on the Apple AirPods on the back um, so that's a that's a difference there. If I open up the lid, you know, the first thing I notice is that the lid is actually magnetic, which is absolutely superb for this price point. Um, so if you, you can see there, that I'm, I'm shaking it around quite frantically, and they don't come loose. The other thing you'll notice very shortly is that the the AirPods themselves are magnetically uh, kind of secured in the unit as well. So uh, you can see that as I just kind of pushed that out and flipped it back in again, uh, it was kind of sticking. So even if I shake it quite a lot, they're not coming out. So in terms of the case, it's a one-to-one -one size. And looking at the actual earphones as well, they're one-to-one -one replica. So I've even had Apple AirPod earphones into the, in the case. Um, so, you know exactly the same size the microphone is at the bottom and also the contact plate similar to the airpods the interesting thing also is when you take these airpods out which i'll go into a little bit later on they automatically pair with each other so you don't need to do anything separate uh, the cutouts on the headphones are the same as what you get on the uh, original airpods exactly the same location and size the the function button is right at the top, uh, what I was just tapping there. And we're going to go into that functionality in a bit. So now delving into the, the manual, uh, you know, you can see exactly where all of the the uh, functional bits of the AirPod are. So at the bottom, you've got the charging. At the top, you've got where the function buttons are. And we'll talk about some of the controls in a, in a, in a, in a second. Uh, and if you look at the charging indicators as well uh, on the front with a USB-C on the, on, on the bottom. Uh, when you take, as I mentioned, when you take the AirPods out, they actually do pair straight away uh, with each other. And to connect them to your phone, what you need to do is you'll notice uh, you need to get Bluetooth enabled. Uh, once you've enabled Bluetooth, you'll see that AirPods will appear on your screen. What you need to do is connect. It's not as easy to connect with these as it is with your 
uh, if you go to you know you go to uh, iPhone and you want to connect to iPhone, uh, you know your AirPods, it's a little bit more uh, <clears throat> challenging. Uh, but once it's connected, it's perfectly fine. So if we kind of dig into a little bit regarding charging. One thing you'll notice, which we're coming up to shortly, is that the charging indicator on the front kind of gives you an indication of how much charge is in there. So at the moment, when you when I did open it, you see that I had two LED, so effectively I had 50% charge. And that can give me up to uh, one and a half hours music time or four hours talk time. Uh, the function button um, typically so if I go through the instructions and you can see there uh, click click the left earphone to answer hang up play and pause play the next song at two consecutive points play the last song at three consecutive points and long press for two seconds to wake up Siri so if you want to see where you're waking up I'll hold for two seconds one of the interesting things with this unit in particular is that he has wireless charging and that is fantastic considering the price point of £30. So it's one of the things that is hotly anticipated for the next version of AirPods, but in the i10 TWS they already have it. If we look into some of the statistics, so uh, one and a half hours charging time, three hours talk time, and eight hours uh, call time. So the unit itself is charged. And so what I've... Uh, seeing is that you can actually just use it you know the where they use all of the charging the headphones and then you just basically put them back into the charging pod uh, and then go for another charge okay so what i'll do in the next video is in dig into pretty much the performance of the unit uh, as always thanks for watching please do subscribe Leave your comments below. Um, and if there's anything else you want me to cover in the actual review of the item, uh, then please let me know. Thank you very much.